Welcome to Greybeard's Jewels. Step into the unknown. Episode 5, The Wraith. In the shadow of night, the graveyard headstones are the only thing you can see in front of you. From the shadow emerges a dark figure. The cold air wisps around your frigid body, and your hair stands on end. As the feeling of despair washes over you, this can only mean one thing. They're nearby. A wraith is a creature originating in Scottish folklore. Undead, meaning not alive, but behaving as if they are. Wraiths have some human-like abilities in the form of a spirit or ghost. Wraiths are rumored to be a supernatural embodiment of the soul, on the verge of death, who recently passed on. When the tale was first told, the idea of the wraith was to be feared. Wraiths were brought to be by witches and wizards performing unsuccessful magic. Their spell casting went wrong and invited the beings into the mortal world, resulting in nothing less than tragedy. The spell would accidentally go awry, and rather than complete the intended task, this being was created. Witches and wizards of all sorts were warned to cast only spells they were sure could completely avoid the possibility of allowing the horrible creature a chance at taking a human life. No one ever invited a wraith in on purpose. Wraiths were also sometimes believed to be human beings who had faced a terrible tragic death. However, rather than move on like the other humans around them, these beings were kept around by some form of black magic that turned them into a person somewhere between dead and alive. In this sense, they are an undead being, but not by their own choice. Other tales believe these creatures were killed in a manner of serious dishonor or darkness. Their tragic fate caused them to turn into a fellow of darkness rather than follow the typical circle of life. No one who has allowed a wraith to enter our world has survived. They had to pay the price as the dark wraith emerged in the shadowy night. He would steal away their soul and condemn them to the unknowns of the spirit world. They were sent to something far from the afterlife or heaven-like place. The spirit realm is unforgiving, cold, and dark with no place for any living soul to live out an eternal life. Wraiths, however, are never sent to the spirit realm. If their days in this living mortal world are taken away, they vanish to a place unknown to all humans today. They spend the rest of their life stuck between dimensions, not living, not spiritual. This place is dark and dreary, and until they find release into the mortal human world, their lives are filled with despair and anger. This is thought to provoke their damaging character once they are released. They are so angry with their own fate that they must force another person to see what they have lived through. This torture is what gives rise to their demonic actions. If they don't have a place on earth, neither can the soul who accidentally summoned them. Race are cold, emotionless, soulless creatures, empty of all signs of life. They feel no good or positive emotions, only despair and hatred. They are stripped of any happy life they ever had the possibility of finding. They instead are forced to live out their days, turning their hatred onto others and forcing mortal beings to join their side. These creatures were originally believed to have black magic powers or sorcery abilities. It is also believed that there are several types of race, each with different abilities or motives. They all take lives in different ways to succeed with their goals. Some race are believed to seek and steal the souls of others. Other types can drain all signs of life from a person with just a single touch. When a soul is taken, this unlucky individual is cursed for all eternity. Unless, of course, the wraith who caused such damage is also killed. The question is, can a wraith be killed? Is it possible to take back your life after one of the most powerful demons steals it away? And if you are to ever find yourself standing in front of this faceless creature, is your fate sealed or can you fight back? Most wraiths are gigantic, strong, powerful creatures for any competitor. It would be extremely difficult to ever overcome such a monster, especially given their powers of sorcery and black magic. Being such pure evil beings, they can withstand any emotional and physical attacks by enemies and very uncommonly succumb to any injury. Any sight of holiness, however, is damaging to the evil inside. 
and caused them to make an immediate retreat. A creature so dark can withstand no light, and this might be their only weakness recognized today. This is the one circumstance in which a mortal being could have overcome, and possibly even kill, a mysterious wraith. A holy presence or weapon is known to be the only option that can take away a wraith's life. The wraith is no match to the holy, powerful opponent and may succumb to a true death if the fighter succeeds. If a fighter is even in contact with a weapon graced with some sort of holy spirit, they might just be able to take the monster down and force it to surrender before it's too late. It is important to remember, however, that an angry wraith is even more dangerous than the nearly invincible undamaged version. An unsuccessful attack may seal your fate, as now, you have made it angry. The anger of the wraith is so powerful that the waves of energy released from the beam can steal the souls of an entire village that has been provoked. A wave of depression will be cast among the city and the people living inside will lead a sad life without any joy. When they are no longer able to withstand such terrible joyless existence, the creature will use its horrific strength to take their poor souls and continue its aimless journey of destruction. As you can now understand, wraiths are not to be taken as a tale. These creatures can impose serious damage on any person in a mere matter of seconds. Their strength is unbeatable, regardless of how they choose to use it against you. There are two kinds of wraiths rumored to be living in the mortal realm today, both inherently evil. Each form of wraith offers destructive capabilities and their own way of taking over the souls they choose. The first type of wraith, and most common, is the most destructive. This wraith has an extreme rage that dominates all of its actions. Regardless of the situation, despair and anger will always take over, making this creature one of the biggest to be feared. These wraiths are also rumored to hold grudges. Even in their undead state, once they have perceived another person as having wronged them, there is no way to undo the damage that has been set in action. This wraith will continue to pursue revenge until they have completed their goal. Second type of wraith is described as being a ghost-like creature. These creatures are human-like embodiments that take up a space until they find a human to meld with. However, what makes this type of wraith so interesting is that they are not interested in making their presence known or feared. Even after a human body is selected and taken over, the wraith is unlikely to showcase its powers. They will instead function like other humans and rarely use any extra power. They are not to believe to hold any special magic powers, but they are more powerful than the average human. The human took over will also typically be unaware of the wraith living inside them, but their life will change forever. This wraith's goal is to procreate and find more humans who will assist wraiths in the mortal world. When a possessed human mates with another human, the wraith will bond with the unborn child. Born will be the soul of a demon, creating a blood child, someone with abilities to be feared. As you can see, wraiths have evolved over time and hold powers over humans that no being could fight back against. These wraiths can collect souls and have effects on generations to come. Of the two most well-known wraiths, both have superiority over humans today. The idea of a wraith has transformed through the ages to turn into a story still shared today. What once began as an evil creature has adapted to describe more of an evil being out to capture souls. In modern times, wraiths have transformed from their folklore shelves to be known as something similar, but not all the same. The concept of a wraith today refers to an evil spirit still active in the mortal world. This evil spirit is not a body of bones or a hollow skeleton but instead, a ghost was unfinished business from its past life. Consistent, however, is their immoral and unjustified means of violence towards undeserving humans. Why are they in the mortal world, you may ask? For one last venture, race has some unfinished business to take care of in the mortal realm. They tend to exist as skeletons or tattered figures hanging out in graveyards or haunted places. They exist between the dimensions of reality and remain in the world while waiting to find their next victim. Today, wraiths are believed to be in the places we humans believe to be haunted or full of threatening spirits. No matter the motivation, wraiths are believed by society today to be harmful 
under any circumstances. They seek to harm those who come too close or threaten their grounds. There are a few races over that time that have been considered good. Known as Vor, these creatures have somehow escaped the puzzling life stuck between dimensions and were able to escape their planned fate. However, these kinds are rare and most races are inherently evil, spreading only evil. Wraiths are believed to be unable to be seen by living people. Some tales describe them as vague, shadowy figures lurking in the darkness. Other legends have described them as dark entities with long black coats covering their bodies. They are believed to be a corpse underneath with a thin layer of skin, leading to an endless black hole within. Have any of you guys had a paranormal experience? If so, go to our Buy Me A Coffee page and leave us a comment to let us know your story. Have a comment about the show? Drop it in the comment section. We read all comments and appreciate the feedback it gives us about our show. Thanks for listening to Greybeard's Jewels, a step into the unknown. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe to the podcast on Spotify or wherever.